Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power, and hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. Sorry for the interruption, but it is super important. If you desire to have a podcast, don't be afraid. Use Spotify for podcasters. It's what I use. Go to anchor.fm. It's free. And get your voice out there. The world needs to hear your wisdom, your experiences, your love. So don't be afraid. Go share your love. All righty, just a heads up. I am in the home with other people. There may be some loud noises or clanking or voices or whatever, but that's what you got to do when you're doing the podcast on the road. And I have to say that God is just working in me in so many different ways, and enlightening me in a much shorter time frame. (laughs) It used to take me a month to get back on track, or I wouldn't really kind of be even paying attention that I'm off track, but yet something wouldn't be right. I wouldn't have this peace or this joy, and I'm like, what's going on? Oh, let me look at my life. Let me look at how I'm doing things and reflect on everything. And so that's actually what I have been doing. And it came down to this. What does my word mean? What does my word mean? A lot of us think about our word to other people. If we promise not to say anything or you have my word, I'll do X, I'll do Y, I'll do Z. But what about our word to ourselves, to us? When we say something and we want to do it, we know it's a good thing for us. Why don't we have our word mean that much to ourselves? Don't we love ourselves enough for that? Aren't we to be respecting ourselves enough to abide by the word that we have told ourselves that we are going to abide by? And it's funny because I'm not even talking about the word word the word of God, the Bible, the commandments. I'm talking about just us giving our word to ourselves to take care of ourselves, to take care of our soul, our mind, our body. And there are lots of you out there who are on that same page. And I want to say congratulations to everyone who has joined the membership only club, the soul, mind, and body. I'm just going to shout out to a couple of people Others are having issues, so hang on. If you've tried to get out there, I'm going to try and help because you know I all stink at technology, but I want to say hi to Tammy and Christopher and Catherine, the top three people that have joined first. Yay! And I know there are others out there who are just like, I don't get it. What is happening? Why can't I get in here? And I want you to join. We are already having some great comments And people are sharing what they're going to be working on in terms of their soul, their mind, and their body. So it's working. I spent 30 minutes online just chatting with you guys, and I love it. By the way, guys is a gender-neutral term in the Midwest of the United States. So ladies, it works for you as well as it works for us. And you need to know that this is not just, this is almost a 50-50 split on my YouTube channel, almost 2,000 subscribers. And out of that group, it's almost half male, half women. Half male, half men. (laughs) Half male, half women. So I don't care who you are out there. 
We're all struggling with life. Women may have little different issues, but in the end, we are all trying to be better people and live holier lives, focusing on our soul, our mind, our body. Okay, so if you're having trouble getting into the membership videos, you may not even see the link. I'm going to try and post another very simple videos. Maybe those will help. But you have to actually log in to, the, to your YouTube account. Now, Christopher went on the Apple device. And he said he needed to access YouTube on a PC to join the group. I'm not calling Christopher a liar, but my gosh, that can't possibly be the case. But he's pretty good at technology. He actually helps me out here and there. So I don't know if that's the case. If someone else goes on your Apple phone and you're able to log in, awesome. Share that in a comment. But he said, log into your YouTube account on a PC. Click membership link in video description of this video. It will prompt you to log into your Google account and then ask you to select a payment method for your membership. That's $4.99, $4.99 a month. Once you join successfully, you will see a perks bubble on Kendra's channel, which contains the membership content. Good luck. Well, thanks, Christopher. <laughs> That's a heck of a lot better than what I actually um, did to advise people. I thought it was fairly simple. So thank you again for doing testing and for helping other people out. And boy, I sure hope that Apple is smarter than having you go on to a PC. So if anyone figures that out, um, please share. But otherwise, another person, Catherine, said she's listening from Australia down under on the 19th of April. And she said, I finally worked out how to join. So make sure that you're signed into your YouTube first, and then the join icon should appear. Now, what I'm going to do in this video, there will be a link to the membership only video sharing. So I think from there, if you just click that link, you should be good. Try it on your phone. If not, copy it and put it onto your laptop and then try to sign in that way. Okay, so I told you all yesterday what I was going to do, soul, mind, and body. That was my word to you. Did I give my word to me? <laughs> Did I actually do what I said I was going to do and, and keep my word? Well, the rosary. You know, I didn't do it on Monday, and I told you all I was going to do it on Monday. Then yesterday, yes, I prayed it. I'm saying that in layers and oozing of sarcasm because I really didn't pray it. I sat down. I was multitasking. I was trying to figure out the membership program on my laptop. I had the rosary playing in the background. Then I was texting someone. In the, I was not praying the rosary. I was not. And I knew it. As I was going through it, I was feeling guilty. I was like, this doesn't count. This doesn't count. This doesn't count. How can I go talk to these people tomorrow and tell them that I prayed the rosary? This doesn't count. And so then I prayed it while I was in the shower and I prayed it while I was getting ready. It was just repeating and constantly repeating. So again, I wasn't sitting and praying, praying, but it was better then my other multitasking, where I was actually using my mind for something else. When I'm showering and getting ready, I'm, I don't, I'm not thinking of much. So it was a better prayer, but it was not perfect. It wasn't what God deserved. My first fruits in the morning. It's tough here, you guys. It's really tough to be in somebody else's house, sharing a room. You know, my husband's not getting up and going downstairs as early as he used to. So yeah, I, my whole routine is shaken up. And Catherine, you put on my YouTube membership channel that it's hard when your routine gets shaken up and it's hard to get back in to that groove. But what I was sharing with her was how I was excited and I've been paying attention to how quickly God is smacking me upside the head. Yes, I ignored him for eight days, but I felt everything about me changing during those eight days. So I knew I'm either going back or I am turning around after these eight days. So there was some sort of a time box in my mind, even though I was like, this is stupid. 
why would I do this for eight days only to stop and reverse course? Why? Because I'm stupid. (laughs) That's why. (laughs) Because I go back to my old ways. Because I'm not thinking that this is a true lifestyle change. If you think about all of the things that have been going on since, what, Advent and my three daily bodily mortifications, that's not that long. December, January, February, March, April, five months, not that long. So very easy to fall back into your old ways, but it's so wonderful when you can see yourself seeing yourself. Gosh, I don't have any other way to say it, but when you can truly see yourself through your lies, through your deception, through your past, it's wonderful. And so I went on a walk because I had not moved the body in a couple of days. And my uh, father-in-law lives in this 17 home kind of wild cul-de-sac street that has a pretty big hill. So I got a pretty good workout. And then last night I ate, I had, oh, it was a pretty normal meal. I had a little bit of pork during lunch with a salad. And then I had roast beef with a salad for dinner. And I had a couple of vodkas and I'm not a real big vodka fan. So I didn't drink a whole lot and got back on the scale this morning. Like I'm telling you, I do every day. This is not about weight. It's about paying attention and being aware. So if I can see the number on the scale, I know where my body is. I can also feel my body and know where my body is. It's just a check for me, but I got back on there. So I have three pounds to go. It doesn't feel like it on my body. I know I'm just getting rid of the, the bloat right now, but by the end of the week, I think my fat cells and my muscle will be shifting back to where it needs to be. And then I can take it forward from there. And this is where I want to throw this out for everyone. I want to do a 21 day challenge starting May 1st. So stay tuned. I will put something together, tell you a little bit about what it's all about, but 21 days, May 1st, stay tuned. Okay, so let's get back to keeping our word for ourselves so that when we promise to do something, that we take it just as seriously as if we promise somebody else that we are going to do something. Oh, I forgot to mention the mind thing. So my mind thing was to listen Uh, I met a person that I've never met before. I think I mentioned it to you. She's a spiritual director. She is a super Catholic woman. She's 70 years old. And it was just wonderful to chat with her. And I was doing all that I could to just listen with loving ears and to be present. And I did. And there were a couple, excuse me, there were a couple of times where I found my mind wandering and I pulled it right back. The people in our lives demand our attention. We should give them 100% of our attention when we're with them. Think about that today when you're out and about. And think about giving yourself 100% of your attention and keeping your word to yourself because you are the most important person in your life outside of God. And if you're keeping your word to yourself and to God, what a promise that is goes a heck of a lot deeper than just saying that you're going to keep a secret for someone or keep something confidential. You're talking about your life. Maybe when you start making it a covenant with God that solidifies your commitment and you take that word seriously, something to consider. That's why soul, mind, and body is so important because when we bring God into it, into it, meaning your life, every aspect of it, it is so different. Everything is different. You don't have a worldview anymore. You have a God view and it changes everything. Okay, let's pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Father, please ignite the Holy Spirit inside of us 
so that we can continue to make promises to ourselves and to you and keep them deep in our heart and our soul and know that when we engage you in these new changes and these new promises and these new ways, that they will be easier and they will become our life, our new life in you every day. So today, please help us to keep our word to ourselves and continue to get that support where we need it from our friends, from our family, from everyone around us. In your holy name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, everyone, check out the link in this description for the membership club on YouTube. We're going to start something May 1st. I really want you on there. Um, giving you plenty of time. <laughs> Send me any comments on any videos. If you have any issues, I'm going to try and keep on the comments outside of the membership people so that we can get you on. And in the meantime, just enjoy this day and keep those promises to yourself because you're worth it and you deserve it. So get on out there. Go be love. Find something more with God. Soul, mind, and body. Have a blessed and inspired day.